We recently changed over from CenturyLink Fiber to Quantum Fiber. If you are using CenturyLink Fiber and converting to Quantum Fiber, or if you are getting a new install of the Quantum Fiber, this video may help you. This video will describe the two devices used for the Quantum Fiber internet connections, the C5500XK modem and the W1700K Wi-Fi 7 network. This video also discusses setting up the Quantum Fiber app for configuration of the Wi-Fi network. If you want to sign up for Quantum Fiber, use the link below. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you found this video helpful. If you do not already have CenturyLink Fiber installed in your home, a Quantum Fiber technician will come out to your house and install a fiber cable to a box located on the outside of your home. You will then schedule an in-home visit with a technician to run a fiber optic cable from the outside box to inside your home where you want the modem placed. This technician will then install the C5500CK Optical Network Terminal ONT, and the main Wi-Fi pod, Wi-Fi 7W1700K. If you already have fiber, the technician will just be installing the ONT and main Wi-Fi pod. Here is the unboxed optical network terminal, or ONT. In the box, there is a wall mount and optical pigtail for mounting the ONT onto your wall. There is also a template for locating and mounting the wall plate and a CAT6 Ethernet cable for connecting the ONT to the main Wi-Fi pod and a power supply. My ONT will just be placed on my entertainment stand. This is the bottom of the ONT. I recommend taking photos of the top and bottom of the device to let you have images of the serial numbers available if technical support service is needed. This is the side view of the ONT, showing the connections. From the left side, the ports are as follows, power connector, reset button, status LED lights, fiber connector, weigh-in LAN 1, and LAN 2 connectors. The ONT can support two separate networks, if you want, simultaneously. One network can be the main Wi-Fi pod you get from Quantum Fiber, and the LAN 2 connector could be used to attach your existing router. Note, if you will be using your existing router, be sure to not, Use your current network name, SSID, and password for the new main Wi-Fi pod. Use a new different network name and password for the new main Wi-Fi pod. The quantum main Wi-Fi pod network name, SSID, and password are configured using the Quantum Fiber app. The GUI intranet address and password shown on top of the ONT allows to, to configure the other settings for the main Wi-Fi pod. You will use the graphical user interface of GUI on your existing router like normal to configure the network name, SSID, password, and other settings for your current local network. Here is the unboxing of the main Wi-Fi pod, this is also called the Wi-Fi 7 pod, or the W1700K. Also, in the box, is another CAT6 Ethernet cable, not used, and a power supply. The 360 Wi-Fi app is not used for configuration of the Wi-Fi 7 pod, you will only use the Quantum Fiber app. This is the bottom of the Wi-Fi pod, I recommend taking photos of the top and bottom of the device to let you have an image of the device serial number when technical support service is needed. This is the side view of the Wi-Fi pod, showing the connections. From the left the ports are as follows, 2, 1 GLAN ports, 10G LAN 2, 10G WAN LAN 1, power port and reset button. The two 1G LAN ports can be used to hardwire Ethernet devices or switches. The ONT will plug into the 10G WAN LAN 1 port for providing Wi-Fi into your home. The optical port on the ONT and the optical cable both have a notch, be sure to align the notch on the optical cable with the notch on the port before inserting the optical cable into the ONT port. To wire the ONT, plug one end of the CAT6 Ethernet cable into the weigh-in LAN port on the ONT, insert the power connector. Lights will flash, white, blue and, eventually turn green, when successfully connected to the internet. To wire the main Wi-Fi pod, plug the other end of the CAT6 Ethernet cable into the 10G weigh-in LAN 1 port. Insert the power connector. Lights will flash, white, blue and eventually turn green, when successfully connected to the ONT, you should now, have Wi-Fi available from the Wi-Fi pod. This is the view of the connected ONT and, the main Wi-Fi pod. It is now time to set up the Quantum Fiber app. Go to the Apple Store app, or the Android Play Store, on your mobile device, and search for and install, the app named, Quantum Fiber. 
If you have not done so already, use the link on this page to sign up for Quantum Fiber Internet and get a username and password for signing into the app. Once you tap of the Quantum Fiber app, the sign-in screen will pop up on your mobile device. The dashboard will eventually appear, it may take a minute or so to gather your network information. If the ONT and pod are successfully connected, you should see Internet Online at the top of the screen. If you tap on the Network Information button, this screen will appear and show your ONT C5500XK serial number and your network name SSID. You can restart the ONT, if needed, using the Restart Modem button. If you want to change the network name, SSID, and or your password, tap the purple Wi-Fi icon located next to your current network name and this screen will appear. You now make changes as needed. The Check Network button on the dashboard will let you get a speed check of the ONT, as well as confirm the Wi-Fi connection is working on your home devices. We already had an existing router, so we opted to not use the main Wi-Fi 7 pod and continue using only our existing router for Wi-Fi access. However, I will put the Wi-Fi pod back in place if I have any friends or family visiting our home. These individuals can then use the Wi-Fi provided by the pod and not be accessing my private home network. The Wi-Fi pod is using the intranet 192.168.0.0 to 254, and my home router is using the intranet 192.168.1.0 to 254. To wire my existing router, I unplugged the power supply and the Wi-Fi pod from the ONT. I then wired the CAT6 Ethernet cable from the router to the ONT and plugged power supply back in. I then plugged the other end of the CAT6 Ethernet cable into the LAN WAN port on the router. A few words to the wise when the quantum technician asks you for your network name, SSID, and password for him to configure the new ONT and Wi-Fi pod, give him a new made-up network name, SSID, and password, not your current one. Later, you can connect your old router back into the ONT LAN 2 port, and you will have your all your settings back in place, and all your devices will be back online. Thank you for watching this video to the end, please like, subscribe, and comment if you found this video helpful.